Hi, in this video tutorial, you will learn how to create filters for your Power Apps Gallery Control. I will show you how to create filters with a drop down, with a text input control for open search, date filters, and more. My name is O'Keefe, and you are in Power Apps Land. All right, for this tutorial, we will be creating a gallery and filters for a car service business. We will use a SharePoint list as the data source. I have already created the list. It has an ID column, car, customer, service, check-in date, price, customer plan, and if the service was completed or not. And this one is a yes or no column. Okay, back to Power Apps. I have already connected to the SharePoint list. Now let's add a gallery here and let's connect the gallery to the car service list. Okay, let's change the layout to title only. Okay, let's make it wider. Leave some space at the top to insert the filters. Now let's change the information here. So this one is going to be this item dot ID. Okay, let's reduce the size and let's copy it. Control C and paste it. Control V. You have another one on the side, and this one is going to be the car. Okay, let's give it a little more space. Copy, paste. We need customer and service next. Customer, then paste again. It's going to be service. You can format like that. Okay, next one is going to be. We need check-in date, price, okay. Then we need customer plan and if the service was completed. Customer plan. And this one is a choice column, so we need to add value at the end. Okay, okay. Let's allow some more space like that. Okay, and let's align all of them. Okay, now let's add a title to every column. This is going to be ID. This is going to be car, customer, service, date, price, plan, service, completed. Let's also add a rectangle to make the titles look better. Now let's select every title. Let's change the color to white. Let's change to a different color like that. All right. Now the service completed column is displaying true or false depending if the service was completed or not. If you see here, it's a checkbox on SharePoint or a blank. On Power Apps, we want to display yes or no instead of true or false. So to do that, we're going to select here the value, go to the text property and change this to if, open parentheses, this item dot service completed comma if it is true then we want the text property to display the value yes otherwise we want it to display no close parentheses and see it changed it to yes or no depending if it was true or false okay now that our gallery is ready we can start adding the filters so the first filter that we're going to add is to filter by the plan so for that, let's insert a dropdown. You can position it here. Then we're going to set the items of this dropdown to gold, silver, and bronze. Okay, it's already displaying here. Good. Now let's save our app and play it. We do have the content here. You can scroll down and it gets the data from the SharePoint list, okay. Then we can take a look here. It has gold, silver, and bronze. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to change the name of this dropdown. We want to call it dropdown customer plan, okay, like that. And now we are ready to create our first filter. And to do that, select the gallery, go to items, and see currently the gallery is mapping to the car service list from SharePoint, which contains every record. 
Now we want to filter that list and display only the records that we want. And to do that, we're going to do filter, open parentheses. First parameter is the name of the list, car service, which is this one. And we are going to filter that list just for the content that we want. And the name of the column here is customer plan, this one, which is this column here on SharePoint, customer plan dot value equals the drop down customer plan dot selected text dot value. Okay, close parentheses. And now, see, it automatically already updated here to display just the records that the plan is gold. Let's save the app and play it. If we change it to silver, changes for the customers that have the silver plan. ID goes from one to four, seven. Bronze, same thing. Just the customers that have the bronze plan. All right, so the first filter is working well. Okay, the next filter that we're going to add is a filter for the date column. So we want to display only the records that go from one specific date to another. So we need to add two dates. Let's make it smaller. Control C to copy, Control V to duplicate. Okay. And now we're going to create, we're going to call this first one date picker from, and the second one date picker to. Let's add some labels to start label here at the top. It's going to be from, let's insert another one, it's going to be to, and let's insert another one here for the plan. All right, nice. Now we want to display only the records between the start and end date. So we need to update the filter for that. Let's get some more space here to work on that. And we are going to create an additional filter. So you add comma here at the end and checking date, which is this field here in SharePoint is greater or equals the date picker from dot selected date. Now we are going to add another one, which is the checking date is less than date picker two dot select the date. Okay. And with this, we have this initial filter. Let's click save and let's click play. Now let's filter for an earlier date. Okay. See, now it has every record that is between this from and to date. Here, 511, 52, and so on. 516. Let's go with 515. Okay, now you see just 516, which is the only records that are in this interval. Nice, the date filter is working also. Okay, the next filter that we want to add is for the service completed column. And for this column, we're going to add a different type of filter. It's going to be radio buttons. So go to insert radio. Here it comes with two options. Let's change it to display side by side, layout horizontal, okay, nice. And the items are going to be yes, no, like that. We can also insert a label here, plan, no, service completed. Let's update the filter. So back to the filter, we're going to do a new one. So add another comma. And we're going to say service completed, which is the name of this column in SharePoint, equals. And now we need to do a check here to know which of the values were selected. So if, open and close parentheses, if, we need to change first, let's do this. First, let's change the name of this radio control to radio service completed radio service com completed okay all right back to the filter radio service completed dot select 
selected dot value meaning if the selected value here is yes then we want to return true because remember in the database it's true or false otherwise we want to return false okay let's save play let's change the date here okay it filter only for the records that are checked as yes and if you select no the records that are checked as no and also that have the plan bronze and are in this specific time frame we can filter just for let's say five seven okay here the ones that are no all right so our completed filter is also working now we need to add another filter and it's going to be a free text filter to search in the ID or in the car field or in the customer field or in the service field. So wherever you type in the text box, it will search and display if that content is found on either one of these four. So let's go to insert text input. Let's add it here. Let's remove the default text to leave it blank. But we're going to add a hint here. So it's going to be search here. Let's change the name of the to text input search. Okay. Now click the gallery and let's update our filter again. We're going to add a filter for the car column. So type comma, enter. And we're going to do this text input search dot text in car let's click save and play see if i type letter k it's going to show a car that has the letter if i type letter m let's change the filters here make it no okay now we have several cars here let's filter for the ones that are let's say honda okay toyota okay bmw okay all right Nice, it's filtering by the car column. But we also want to filter by the ID, customer, and service. So we're going to add those two. So add a comma here and do text input search dot text in ID. Well, actually, not a comma. Let's add this operator, which means if whatever you type in the search field is in the car or if it's in the ID or it's in customer, which is a customer name or in service. All right. So let's test that 157. Okay. So it's search inside the ID field. Let's go to 203. All right. Now let's filter for the car Hyundai. Okay. Let's also filter for the customer. So let's go for this one, Thomas which is 203. Thomas, there's another Thomas also. Let's go for Williams. Here, Williams. All right, nice. Filtering by customer. Now let's see service. We want to filter for tire. It's going to go tire rotation, tire balancing. These two records, 223, 232. All right, there it is. Break. Cool. We have a text filter, date filter, a choice filter, in a radio bottom filter. If you liked this video, please click like. And if you want to learn more about Power Apps, click subscribe.